The time has expired. The chair now recognizes the gentlelady from Illinois, Ms. Schakowsky, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, and I thank you so much, um, Administrator uh, Regan. I, I appreciate the, uh, the, the work that you've done. I also wanted to give a little shout out to our regional administrator, Deb Shore, who I think has done a great job for the whole region. Um, I'm from the city of Chicago, but which the work that she did um, with the uh, cr railroad crisis, I think has been really exemplary. Um, so I want to, I have a particular thank you um, for you. Illinois is number two in the country when it comes to lead service lines. And um, I really appreciate the fact that you have done, um, the, completed the uh, review of the drinking water infrastructure needs uh, survey. Um, and as a consequence of that, Illinois is getting more money than we had originally been allocated, and that means so much. Chicago alone has over 400,000 uh, lines that need to be replaced. So I want, I want to thank you for, for that. Um, I also just wanted to, to note that the um, International Panel on Climate Change put out such a dramatic warning to all of us. And I think all of our colleagues have to acknowledge that we are on the verge if we don't take urgent action, immediate action right now, that we'll be unable to avoid some of the worst effects of, uh, of climate change right now. So I, I am concerned um, right now that um, what, we, what we are seeing is that the um, Republican colleagues of, of mine have decided that there ought to be the repeal of the um, infrastructure reduction, the, uh, um, I'm sorry, the, um, uh, what is it? Anyway, we we're talking about um, problems of the reversal of bills that we have, uh, that we have passed. Um, and I am very concerned. I wanted to um, ask you about that. Um, yes, the Infrastructure Reduction, uh, the Inflation Reduction Act would, if they had their way, um, include um, taking away the inclusion of the Methane Emissions Reduction Act and also the Greenhouse Gas Reduction Act. And I want to ask you, what is the consequence to not only um, the EPA, but to our, our constituents and their health care and their jobs if those bills were, re were repealed? Well, I, I think that we, we're working extremely hard on developing the framework for the $1.5 billion uh, for the methane program. Uh, I think the industry has indicated that they want those resources to help with mitigation, uh, to help with technical assistance. And so we're working very hard. That $1.5 billion is very important to the industry. Uh, I think when you look at uh, the, the Greenhouse Gas Reduction Fund, uh, $27 billion uh, that we are uh, working with um, uh, independent organizations to partner with the private sector, to leverage those resources to invest in advanced technologies, uh, especially those that will grow jobs, create an economy, but also grow jobs locally. Uh, th there's a tremendous opportunity there. So these are economic and technology opportunities, uh, just as importantly as they are human health uh, opportunities as well. It will be a major setback, and I think that industry and many of our stakeholders fought aggressively to get those provisions into the IRA, and it would be a shame to see that taken out. Do you have any estimate of how many jobs actually could be lost if these programs didn't move forward? Uh, I'll, I'll circle back and have my team give you sort of a breakdown of what we estimate the job impact potential could be. We know that they're significant, uh, especially when we think about being competitive in the 21st century, it's really significant. Let me just also say how concerned I am. If there actually were a great reduction 
back to a couple years ago of funding for the EPA, what it would mean for our ability to um, save these programs and additionally to save our planet. So thank you very much for the work that you do. Appreciate you. Thank you.